Can you name this 90s song? Aqua's Barbie Girl spent four weeks at the top of the UK charts in 1997. And in today's quiz, we will look at 40 other songs that spent a minimum of four weeks at the number one spot in the 1990s. We will start off with the songs that spent four weeks on top, working our way up to the song that spent the longest at number one. The aim of the quiz is to guess the song, but you could always name the artist too, and it is worth mentioning that some artists may appear more than once. Before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe for a bonus point. Good luck! Begin with Fuji's version of Killing Me Softly, which was a best selling single of 1996. Men in Black was the first solo single released by Will Smith. First written in 1953 with the best known version probably by Frankie Lane from that same year, it's Robson and Jerome's cover that spent four weeks at number one in 1995. Fairground was Simply Red's only UK number one. Prey was the first of 12 UK number ones for Take That. Kato Banton alongside Robin and Ali Campbell of UB40 got to number one with their version of Baby Come Back, originally a 60s hit by The Equals. Wigfield's Saturday Night also got to number one in Spain, Ireland and Switzerland, as well as topping the European Hot 100 Singles Chart. You always smile, but in your eyes your soul shows. Mariah Carey's version of Without You was her first UK number one. I guess now it's time for me to give up. Take That's Back For Good also topped charts in at least 10 other countries.
Things can only get better spent 12 months from its initial release with the song getting to number one after D-Ream with a supporting act for Take That's UK Tour. Mr. Vane was a number one in at least 15 other countries for German group Culture Beat. One hit wonders the Bluebells got to number one in 1993 with their version of Young at Heart. Naughty, naughty, very naughty. Jarman included Ebenezer Good on the 1992 album Boss Drum. Wet 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 managed three UK number ones, but Goodnight Girl was the only one that wasn't a cover song. Ice Ice Baby top charts in at least eight other countries worldwide for vanilla rice. And time can do so much. First performed by Todd Duncan in 1955, the Righteous Brothers initially released their version of Unchained Melody in 1965, with a 1990 reissue topping the charts after appearing in the film Ghosts. Baby, hold me tight and let this be Maria McCree's Show Me Heaven was on the soundtrack to the 1990 film Days of Thunder. Vogue was Madonna's seventh of 13 UK number ones. Beats International included Dub Be Good To Me on their 1990 album, Let The Meat Bingo. Sinead O'Connor released the best known version of Nothing Compares to You, but the song was actually written by Prince. Spain 
Spaceman by Babylon Zoo is the first song in the quiz to have spent five weeks at number one. Never knowing who to cling to when the rain set in. You lived your life like a candle in the wind. Despite being the best-selling single of the entire decade, Candle in the Wind by Elton John only spent five weeks at number one. No Limit by Two Unlimited got to number one on at least 13 other European charts. Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody spent five weeks at number one in the 90s, but it did spend some time at the top of charts in another decade. Casey and the Sunshine Band first released Please Don't Go in the late 70s, with an early 90s version by KWS top in the UK charts. Another cover, this time by Cher, with her version of the Shoop Shoop song, originally titled It's In His Kiss by Mary Clayton in 1993. The one and only also got to number one in Austria for Chesney Hawks. Released in 1989, Elton John's Sacrifice didn't top the charts until the middle of the following year. Earth Song by Michael Jackson is the first song in the quiz to have spent six weeks at number one. Run DMC originally released It's Like That in 1993, with it not performing well in the charts until Jason Nevins remixed the song and went on to be a big hit in 1998. <laughs> Rhythm is a Dancer was the second number one after The Power by German group Snap. Really, really, really 
Wanna Be by the Spice Girls is the first song in the quiz to have spent seven weeks at number one. Shares Believe was the best-selling single of 1998. Robson and Jerome's version of Unchained Melody was the best-selling single of 1995. You may not know that the song was first performed by Todd Duncan in 1955. Celine Dion's Think Twice sold over 1.4 million copies in the UK. I Do Anything for Love by Meatloaf was the best selling single of 1993. Stay by Shakespeare's sister spent eight weeks at number one, making it fourth on this quiz. Bittersweet memories will always love you. Third on the list at 10 weeks is Whitney Houston's version of I Will Always Love You, which was a best selling single of 1992. Spending 15 weeks at number one with yet another cover was Wet Wet Wet's version of Love Is All Around, the best selling single of 1994. And the song to have spent the longest at the top of the UK charts in the 90s for 16 weeks was Brian Adams' Everything I Do, I Do It For You. So that's the end of this 90s UK chart topping music quiz. How did you get on with this one and were there any surprises included? Let me know in the comments and while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe for that bonus point. Thank you very much for playing along and I'll see you again soon for another squiz.